What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, man. Look, so one of my subscribers, shout out to that dude. He told me about this, man. So I swear, look, young people, young people, young people that subscribe to me, fans of basketball. Anybody that subscribed to me that plays the NBA, look, I can't, I don't know what it's like to be an NBA player. I don't want to, I don't know what it's like for the grind. I understand what I hear from people that played the game. It's very, very, um, it, it's, it's very, very grinding on the body, man. It's a grind. It's mentally frustrating, physically taxing. And most people can't do it. I have all respect in the world for these players. But I also have respect for the players that played before these guys. And that's what burns me up is some of the stupid, asinine comments some of these people, some of these dudes make, man. Okay. Anthony Edwards, we're trying to like you, bro. But just if you don't know anything about the history game, just, just be quiet, bro. Just be quiet. Everybody's entitled to their opinions. But if you don't know anything about the history of the game, don't, don't say anything. Or just say, I don't know much about it. But to go on a tangent about something you don't know about just makes you look bad. Look, I don't know anything about, say, I'm not big on Shakespeare. Okay? I'm not. I'm not a huge Shakespeare fan. Romeo and Juliet, you know, Hamlet, Othello. I'm not a huge Shakespeare fan. Just, just, just me. I'm not going to say, oh, I think Shakespeare was queer or weird. Just because I don't like him when I don't know nothing about it. I hate when people just are dismissive of something because they don't know something about it. But anyway, Anthony Edwards doesn't think the level of basketball in the NBA from before he really started paying attention to the sport was very high. Now listen to this. Listen, pay attention to this. Anthony Edwards doesn't think the level of basketball in the NBA from before he really started paying attention to the sport was very high, which means that we're talking about before his childhood, which includes the Kobe era. Remember, he's 23. I don't think he really started paying attention to basketball until maybe, let's just say at earliest, <clears throat> 10, 11, maybe. So we're talking after Kobe won his last title. So he thinks, really, since the Le Le LeBron era, basketball wasn't on a high level. You hear what I'm saying? So anyway, speaking to Lane Florsheim, or Florsheim of the Wall Street Journal, I think it's Florsheim, Edwards explained that Michael Jordan was the only player, quote, that really had skill from past generations. I didn't watch it back in the day, so I can't speak on it. But you chose to speak on it, right? They say it was tougher back then than it is now, but I don't think anybody had skill back then. He was the only one that really had skill. You know what I mean? So that's why when they saw Kobe, they was like, oh, my God. But now everybody has skill. Who are these everybody that has skill? So all these guys that can score in the post like Mike and Kobe. They got the footwork like Mike and Kobe. They got the bag like Mike and Kobe. You know what I'm saying? They got the mid-range game. They got the three-ball game. They, they play on both sides of the floor like Mike and Kobe. Facilitate utility men like Mike and Kobe. Nah. It seems like to me a lot of these guys confuse players who can just iso, iso, jab, step, hezzy, hezzy, you know, then step back three. That, that skill to them, even if the shot don't goes in, that skill. That skill to these dudes. What I see it as is everybody's playing the same carbon copy bull crap game. So nobody was skilled in Mike Air. So Kim Olajuwon was the skilled player, folks. Ben Robinson wasn't a skilled player.
Grant Hill wasn't a skilled player. Anthony Hardaway wasn't a skilled player. Tim Hardaway wasn't a skilled player. Kevin Johnson wasn't a skilled player. Charles Barkley wasn't a skilled player. Uh, Clyde Drexler wasn't a skilled player, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. If I haven't said him yet, Penny Hardaway wasn't a skilled player. I might have said him already. Jamal Mashburn wasn't skilled. Michael Finley wasn't skilled. What are we doing here, man? What, what, what in the fuck are we doing here now, folks? Just shut your mouth if you don't know what you're talking about. Please. Walt Frazier was skilled. Earl the Pearl Monroe was skilled. Pete Maravich was skilled. What are you talking about? Hell, Bob Cousy was skilled. What are these people, what are these guys talking about? Lord have mercy. This is the byproduct of the dumbing down of sports initiated by the likes of the Skip Baylesses and the Stephen A. Smiths of the world. It has been pulled down further by the guttural nonsense that's on social media. But this is what happens when, dude, I'm a dumbass, podcasts are getting millions of views. Meanwhile, us who are trying to talk about the game, YouTube want to shadow ban us. They want to shadow ban us. Because we're not sitting up here selling out, you know what I'm saying, uh, promoting this nonsense that's out there now. And by, you know, I could name some other people, players. Jimmy Jimmy Jackson, Jamal Mashburn, they weren't skilled. It's like they think skilled is guys shooting threes. The NBA wasn't predicated on just shooting threes back then. But we had three-point specialists, if that's what you're looking for. We had the Trent Tuckers, we had the Craig Hodges, we had the Steve Kerr's, we had the Tim Leglers. We talked about just three-point shooting. Drazen Petrovic wasn't skilled. He was more than just a three-point shooter. He was a three-point shooter, mid-range shooter, score. Folks, what are we doing here? And by the way, you had skilled players oftentimes hidden playing roles. Anthony Mason, if you just look at highlights of him with the Knicks, if you're a younger, you just say, oh, well, this guy's just some big body thug. But when you saw him play with the Charlotte Hornets, you saw the skill. A lot of those guys were playing roles. Shaq even had ball handling ability. Young Shaq was a beast. Jason Williams. Not, not, the, not the one that unalive the limo driver, but the white boy. He, he didn't have skill? Mike Bibby? Come on, Anthony? <laughs> Tracy McGrady? Didn't Jordan play against these guys? Paul Pierce? What is he talking about? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you guys something. You do realize that back then, defenses were not as handicapped. Like, you could be physical. So, it helped to have on-ball skills. Well, I should say on-ball, but not all-ball skills. 
you, you it helped to have ball handling ability and quickness and footwork to separate from the defense and score. Hence why Jordan popularized the fadeaway jumper. Why Kobe emulated that. Elvin Hayes had the fadeaway jumper. Bird had a fallaway jumper. You don't really need to do that now because there's so much room. Can't really stop a guy. You can't be too physical. Hence why you don't really see the fadeaway jumper anymore. Dirk had a fadeaway jumper, right? Chris Webber, skilled. I, I, Vladdy Divac, skilled. I, I'm, 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 what, what is he talking about? You know, it's like it's like it's like if I said, you know, man, the Beatles are the only artists to sell any records. They were the only artists to sell any records before Drake. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> right? Oh my God, man. So let me get this straight. Let, let, me, let me get this straight, y'all. So if we were to put Prime Allen Iverson. Matter of fact, I think JB said this. I think it was JB in my chat. This it was funny as hell. Shout out to JB. If we were to put Prime Allen Iverson in today's NBA, you're telling me that Luka Doncic gonna stop him one on one. Luka Luka gonna stay in front of Allen Iverson and stop him. Uh, Luka Doncic gonna be able to stand in front of a guy like Prime. Hell, Prime Penny Hardaway, uh, Prime Penny Hardaway. Uh, you trying to tell me Chris Milton gonna be able to stand in front of a Prime Tim Hardaway? Oh, J.R. Ryder, Rod Strickland. I guess they just stiffs. They they're just standing there. Andrew Tony. None of these guys are skilled, folks. I'm done. I'm I'm done, bro. I'm really, really done. It's just a tip of the iceberg. I'm, 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 I'm floored at what I'm hearing here. Unbelievable, man. Anthony Edwards got going to the dunce, got to go into the corner with the dunce hat for that one, man. He deserves the donkey of the day for that one. If the, you know what I'm saying, Charlemagne, you gotta give him the donkey of the day for that comment. 